at least until we get to the trail. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I guess we'll turn. So it'll just cut across when it turns green. I, mean, I guess we could go that way, but uh, doesn't really matter to me. There's a lot of traffic coming this way though, so might as well just wait. So, I didn't understand what you were saying on the phone about 8.39. Oh, we forgot to check and see if that was two hour parking, but... Were there any signs? Oh. Oh, well, so... So he parked about 5.45. Well, it's gonna be dark by 7.45 anyway, so. Yeah, the display on that, I can't remember what happened.
But uh, yeah, I charged it up last night, so. Bikes, yeah. huh. I rode it. To work and back, but then at lunch, I had to go pick this bike up, so. Oh, did you? Huh? Did you pick it up? Yeah. How long did it take? I mean, you walk there, right? Huh? You walk there. No, I took the train. I can't really walk right now very far. But biking is fine. Uh, I probably shouldn't be biking, but I'm gonna do it. So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna ride for 63 miles on Sunday. So, but I think after that, I probably won't ride very much in October. So I've already decided not to do the 1250k challenge. Um, so the there's always a met uh, every month. There's a metric century challenge. So that's what I'm doing on um, on Sunday. Um, and that way, like you know, if it snows, I mean, it's been super warm, but I mean for October, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, last year it was freezing in September. Yeah. Although, I mean, it does like feel a lot colder than it actually is because of the wind and also because of the clouds. Yeah. But, uh. I'm glad I put on like extra sweater and extra pants. Yeah. It's just like just warm enough right now. Um. Or maybe this is just right and last year was particularly cold, I don't know. But we'd definitely be warmer than last year. Yeah. Our first snow last year was October 14th. We're, huh? I mean, from the forecast I've been seeing, there's no way we're going to get snow yeah. by the 14th. Yeah, well, not in the next two weeks because that's as far out as this, yeah. the forecasts go. But, um... But yeah, tomorrow the last forecast I saw was like tons and tons of rain, so. Like the whole day? Yeah, so. I don't really Even know. Like morning? Huh? Even like in the morning? I think it's supposed to rain pretty much all day, but. Well. Maybe not at night, but in the in the like morning and day it's supposed to. So I don't really know what's happening over there. <laughs> What? It says parking in Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they would tighten that board every time I go by. It makes that little jingly sound. It's a little bit of disconcerting at first, but like once you know it's coming. This thing is also it's what? Oh yeah, that's I was saying that the display is just not tight. Like there's not screws in the thing. I don't ever change it, you know, on my commute. I put it on high and then I ride to work and then I put it on high and I ride home. <laughs> so it's like. You know. Where do you park your bike? Do you put it inside the building? Yeah. Yeah, my fat bike is there right now. Because that's what I... I rode the e-bike to work 
I took the train to the to pick this one up and then I rode this one back home and then I rode the fat bike back into work. So how does this new one feel? Is it like very light and very fast or uh, well I think it's probably a little faster now that I got the smaller wheels put on it. Um but uh yeah it's like you know like 12 millimeters doesn't sound like a whole lot but it really is uh so and it's tubeless too so like i don't have the tube weighing me down so uh, does tube like steal a little bit of your speed or no the tube yeah. well the thing about the tube is it's weight so like you know any piece of weight is gonna help you on or gonna hurt you on a climb or in like a straightaway but on a downhill it'll help you right. well to a certain extent assuming that your tires are inflated properly and the bike's designed to carry the amount of weight that you've got you know but probably won't be able to keep up with me going down this hill. At first I was like, let me test out these new tires on this hill. And then I realized I've got the bag and I have no way that I'm gonna, the tires are not gonna make up for the bag, so. Yeah. Well, actually the bag might help on the downhill. That feels a little bit like the wheel was touching the brake or something, but there is no. It's not, I rode it twice today. Okay. What do you mean there's no brake? Um, well, this kind of brake. There's a brake right there. Oh, no, I'm saying like a, like a rubber thing that goes over your wheel. And, and if your wheel is not like, if, you, if, you are, if your wheel is tire, it's not perfectly aligned, it's gonna touch Oh, you. yeah, I have disc brakes yeah. on all of my bikes. hill that we're coming up to pretty soon earlier this year i had like the 17th fastest time of the year like in july i had like the 17th fastest time in the year i'll show you the hill so i use strava to to uh um to calculate like where i go and stuff and the distance and everything i have these things called segments and there's a segment that starts basically at the bottom of that hill over there. I'm not exactly sure where it starts, but it's through this section and then up this hill over here that I'm going to show you. And then you, it like ranks all the people that ride it. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Um, You're like the second fastest. 17th.
there are some other ones that I have pretty high uh, like time on, but the ones that like people go on all the time, I don't have any shot at. You see, you know, like most people are coming through here and then they go down, you know, keep going south. But see, if you turn and go up this hill, there's a segment that goes up to the top of the hill. But that's how I go to the city games. When I back to the city games, it was up that hill, so. Have you gone to city games? So? Yeah, I, I, um, I, uh, we talked about, like, the one in St. Thomas yesterday, I thought. Uh, yeah, so like they went to the game at uh, at um, at St. Thomas. Um, I think I pretty went, much went to all of them. They're trying to plan their membership meeting right now. The team that won the national championship the last two years moved into another league. So, but I mean city hasn't even won the Midwest yet, so that's the first step, is to win the Midwest. But they're back-to-back -back conference champions, so that's something. Oh, so like, the soccer season for the Minneapolis city is officially over now, right? Oh, it's been over, yeah. It so ends in, their, it ends in like July. Huh? Remember what the game where, like, with Craig? Yeah. And, and 